young ladies down there. They seem ex... Oh, sir! Those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Oh, I have. Uh, here. A hollow tape. It had been so long, I'd completely forgotten I had it. <laughs> if you see her, do give her my best. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. Whoa! Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? Son of a bitch, we missed our chance. We really needed that. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps. And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. But... I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But... Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? They sent you out here without a weapon? A quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name. He gave us a couple of leads to chase down. In exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after. Well, these things showed up. The Scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. 
Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Watch yourself out there.
Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey! Who the hell are you? <laughs> like hell you are, bucko! you is gonna end badly. Now, I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. No, I haven't seen her. But I have heard her. My people found a tape she left behind for one of her dwellers at that camp across the way, though it is a bit out of date now. Maybe you're the one she left it for. I'm happy to hand it over. Though, now that we've drifted naturally onto the topic of helping one another, maybe there's something you could do for me in return. Just agreeing to lend us a hand in a little diplomatic intervention. See? That boy we put down, he's not the first of his crew to roll in here, but I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? I don't care how you deal with them. Sweet talk, string up their leader by his ears. Hell, buy them all ice cream sandwiches. Whatever you can do to get them to stop harassing us is fine by me. Fifty caps if you can get the job done. Only seems fair. The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Not sure I've got enough on hand, unfortunately. No. We're gonna draw them in by making them think you're Crane. Just give me one second. Just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it. Use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Ah, oh, damn. Okay, okay, let's see, new plan. We paint all the Brahmin, and then we... That just, plan's fine. I can walk them through how to build it. How's that exactly? I was hunkering down for quite some time waiting for this headless monster thing to clear off on my last ammo hunt. Ended up reading some old training materials to pass the time, and guess what? 
We had some tapes on it. Oh, Mort. Not the tapes. You have a better option? Not one that doesn't involve painting all my cattle. There you go, I suppose. You can talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in... self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. Crazy. Now that is just crazy. They hand you vault kitties, all this fancy equipment, and then just throw you to the wolves. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now, because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Allergies. Learn the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man, that's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on doomsday. Now, you see, I drove security. I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble blah, 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 and it quiet. Then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind. And it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlock the door and into the back and then bang, I wake up, man. And it's crazy. Somehow in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools, not the most flattering name, but still beats being vaporized. Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm gonna help you, I want something in return. All right, listen, I got this plan. You're gonna help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you Volters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. It's the only voice I got, so yeah, that's what you're gonna hear. Now you want them or not? You will, oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? I did, and your eyes still work in case that's the reason you're bringing up the obvious. Look, the world's hard now. Better you learn that lesson real fast. Don't have one. I'm an independent operator. When these folks need a hand or got an errand that involves running into radiation, they come to me. Rads, <laughs> they don't bother me anymore. In exchange, Dutch just lets me drink. It doesn't bother me too much about my tab. Really, about the best sort of setup a guy in my situation could ever ask for. Well, at least until the tapes take off. I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also, 
means I could survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are sane. Not sure how it happens, why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turned, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans. Ser com seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. Some other time then. Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but mutated animals, haywire bots, and no people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in what I can confirm is hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, Count of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer. Signing off.
Shears Lodge, Talon Flatwoods. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice. Angry, tortured. We are one. On what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food. Survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the overseer signing off. Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see, helping folks through thick and thin till the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened, I figured like most, it was time. This was the end, but, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked, I asked how, why? I fought your wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eat raw rat carcass behind a dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned them. It seemed obvious. We tried but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized really right then and there that I was being tasked. From then on, 
I built kitchens, cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. But until then, let's share a home cooked.